it's not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, that's it. Like, Listen to me. We are not like that. So maybe, maybe this we don't act like, like well. animals. Hello, you are welcome to Head to Head, your non-diplomatic talk show where we say it just the way it is, no matter whose ox is gored. My name is Eshomamo Imudu, and with me on the top today is an interesting son of the South-South, a Ninja Delta leader. I'm talking about Comrade Joseph Eber. Comrade, you are welcome to my talk. Thank you. Thank you. Nice having you. Now, yes. the South-South, the Ninja Delta, at a point in time it was the South-South movement and the entire country was sensitized that it was a time for the South-South man to become president of Nigeria. Now, let's draw it from that place. How will you read the development in the South-South since Jonathan became president up to this very moment? Well, uh, Jonathan was not allowed for a second term. Um, now, Buhari is going for his second term. And uh, he has confidence that it will take eight years to be president of Nigeria. Jonathan was uh, disturbed, you know, the way he became even acting president. And uh, there are a lot of hostile uh, activities around. And again, this is our first time. That, that so this is our first he time. created it all? No, he did not create the environment and the society. He's new in that system. And again, the people felt oh, that... Okay, he was he, new in the system. Yes. So it as was supposed as, to be... A learning place for him. Yes, also one the apart from learning. Apart, be a learning place no, for apart from learning, everybody is learning. He Today, Bubanga is even regretting. He was a governor. Look, he was an act, he was a vice president, so he has to learn. Babangida was in the system military era. Even Obasanjo today is telling us just two days ago. Mm. Obasanjo he said, if they give him another opportunity to become Nigeria president, there are things now he has learned, which you know that we will never give again. We will not give him again. Mm. Other people will learn from him and do what is right for the Nigerian people. So but what I'm telling you that had five years. Yes. And he feels he wish he had another opportunity. So is five years not sufficient for him to make significant impact? It depends on how you emerge as president also. Regardless of how you and emerge, you know that there the was unwritten law. In chief. And you know that there was unwritten law by some people. We are who wrote Where the law. The unwritten law says problems. that uh, we are minority. And by minority you cannot win election. They told us that. So there but was he a struggle. Won. He won. That is what I was saying. That is what I'm saying. So he won. So that means those, those who wrote the unwritten law, the unwritten law people want to make sure but that probably they you should say it this way. So, they perceived unwritten law. No, because there is, there no is unwritten, unwritten law, law that says we are minority, and we 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 we, we challenge it. The minority that produces. Now, for example, let me give you one of the reasons why I petition to put up panel. One of the petition I sent to put up panel that in every uh, census in this country, oh. we as far as we are concerned, some people are even counting cows. As part of their population, so we also can't fish. So we also okay. We also have fish, so we will can't fish as you, part of our population. Did you count your fish? No, we want to can't fish. And oh, so said, did you my count the there. fish in the last <laughs> census? They refused. So who Oputa refused? Said, Oputa said my petition is dangerous. Your people were in charge, so who refused? No, Oputa said my petition is dangerous. Right from Oputa time, even before be Jonathan became vice president. So do you need an Oputa, Oputa panel? Do you need an Oputa panel to tell you what to count in census? We felt that this country, the secret of this country. We are investigating. We find out that people who flare gas into our brain use the fine to pay to people in Abuja that are not affected by gas flaring. So with all this, we know that there are some agendas. We have landmass. I mean, uh, people who have landmass, they count their landmass and create local government for themselves. Oh. We that have water mass. Our water mass is irrelevant. Only it is only to provide wealth no, for no, this country. Now, no, 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 comrade, are you justifying the years of underdevelopment in the Niger Delta? by way of trying to exonerate the leaders of Niger Delta from all these failures? The major problem, our enemy in the Niger Delta are the oil companies. And even your people, don't you think they are the no, enemies no, of no, themselves? No, no, listen, the real enemies of the Niger Delta are the oil companies. How, please? If you go to Libya, if you travel to Saudi Arabia, if you travel to Kuwait, what these oil companies, what they do in Nigeria, they are not doing it in those countries. They engage development. They make sure that this area, in the next 100 years, when the generation is no more, the generation coming enjoy that area. But these oil companies in our own Nigeria, 
they have no regard. So, they don't so, even so they now manipulate some certain people, create divide and rule. That was why our leader Ken so Salwa was killed. The, so the oil companies manipulate the leaders. Yes, even the government. Like, even like we were saying the other time, manipulated the former president who was also a son of the South South. It is look, there are laws that they have made for the president before he came. And they are telling him that you cannot change these laws. Who is telling him? He's not the commander in chief. If you, in com commander in chief, you must follow the constitution. Exactly. Was it there when the constitution was created for this country? When they say, we the people, are you part of the people who wrote the constitution? So in, Is that not so, an insult so, to you? So, so in other words, some we, should, we, should not, guys, we should not hold the South South leaders guys, responsible. Yes. So look, it was... Said, it's it's the, so easy to, to, to give excuses for the failure of a people. No. But the South South will say the reason they are not developed is because certain people... And that was, why we, at your own that people. was why we we have to now face the oil companies in the Kayama Declaration. Our children decided. This constitution and all these things they are doing for us, there is no hope after the hanging of Kensalwa. They decided and the economy was granted. The economy was granted and they said... Amnesty was we, granted. You no, know, th that was... Even Karama declaration was not even amnesty period. Amnesty was just yesterday. We told them that if you cannot develop us like Libya, develop us like Saudi Arabia, you all your companies, leave our land. You are polluting our environment. We cannot fish, we cannot farm. We are brave people. We are very hard-working people. We are fishermen. We are farmers. Our timbers are found in London. Oh. That even Queen Elizabeth Palace, where you go there, you see the uh, timbers from Sabela and other areas in those days that were used to construct the British power. What, what I'm saying is, if we keep blaming those people and exonerate the son of the soil that was president for about five, six years, yeah. do you think we're being fair to other parts of the no, country? No, we are fair because the president, when he came, they tied his hands so, with, the, so, so, with those laws written by military people, oh. and so he has to con implement the constitution. How can he use the Nigerian constitution to develop his people? So you mean the former How president? Can he, you, can, you mean so he could not even, perform? You mean he failed? No, he did not. Until the world come to an end. The Niger Delta people. I said in one of my interviews, the greatest miracle on earth that Jehovah God Almighty performed in our generation was for a president from the Niger Delta to emerge. How will you rate the performance of that president, especially in developing the South-South, the Niger Delta? Now, let me tell you, the president, even at that difficult situation in which laws that were not made by him, laws that were made specifically to torment us, he is now the president of Nigeria. In fact, he tried even on his own to see what he can do to relieve the pains. The, 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 the um, uh, sharing formula, if you have kind of 44 local government, Bayasa has eight local government. Even by military decree, Bayasa is not even up to a state. And you say Kano is having 44 local government after you remove Jigawa from Kano state, Kano is still having 44 local government. Then you now tell us in the constitution that it is of land mass. No, no, what no. of the water mass of Bayasa? Which means you have the just, water you have mass just... of Bayasa is larger than Nigeria. So which means you are just speaking for the governors also because that is the same claim. If you say they are not performing in the Niger Delta, they will say okay it's because of the peculiar terrain of the Niger Delta. No. So yes, you should I, not hold them responsible. No, look, you should when not hold when them responsible. Get to that, when they get to that stage, which stage? We're already when, there. No, yes, we are there. We're already there. When you get to that stage, even if it is one cover that is given to Niger Delta governors. We also have our own ways of checkmating. And Which means they must be accountable. Like today now. We Which means they, they must be accountable. And that is why today we are So why have you not asked the former president to yes. account for his performance while no, he was in office? No, the president, we have asked him and we have also, we saw everything based on the situation that is on ground. We believe mark. that he had passed mark. Okay. As no, far as, no, as, far no, as his no, own situation no. is concerned, the governors, the mark. governors in the Niger Delta, will yes. you see they also have passed mark? No. Why? You see, because we have a system already. For since independent or immediately after the military rule, we have been having these structures are on ground. And it is our sons, since democracy came, it is our own sons that are in the system over the years. So if tomorrow Delta State government is conducted under election, it is not a Wusa man that is the come same. To that. It is the same Nanja Delta person. So what is so the problem? There, there, there are two is different things. And that is why we are confronting them. And that is why we are embarrassing some of them, and the whole country is seeing it. So, so, so you mean you were also embarrassed when the issue of the extent of corruption in the Niger Delta Development Commission blew open? Were you surprised? No, because we have been shouting. And oh, you are not surprised? Over yes, you knew it was like we, that. We know it is like that, and we have been. Uh, this is not my first time of appearing on television. That was why when President Buhari came up with this pro panel, 
we all say hallelujah. Mm. We all say hallelujah. Somebody who can be firm on the matter mm. and not look inside has taken a decision. Good. We clap for him. We are not against it because we want something to be done. To be done. Because the money that goes to that commission, it is not a Wisa man or a Togolese or Ghanaian. It is the same that it, it is that same Niger Delta people. Whether you remove the managing director, you remove the uh, chairman, of, it Bring is still the same, same managing director. So it's different from the so, other president. So, 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 so we that, come to the same place where we say it is still the people of the Niger Delta that are undoing the Niger Delta. Yeah, and we are saying that when they are undoing the Niger Delta, deal with our sons that are undoing the Niger Delta if you have the power. President so do, you, has the power. do you think the president can would, would deal with these individuals? Why not? Because the pro panel that is going on in Nimasa. The management in the Massa now is serious with what is happening there. The pro panel that is going on in NPA, the management in NPA, they are serious with whatever they are doing. The it, pro panel that is going on in Nigeria Port Authority, including even the NSA office, where the former NSA uh, chief is facing trial. But let's so because that the current NSA is making sure that he did not go into the problems of the former... Let's, of, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's stay a bit, let's stay a bit with this NDDC stuff. Yeah. Are you not surprised also that with one breath the president said there is a probe going on, then he appointed a, a board, and the board's name was presented to the Senate for approval and confirmation. On the eve of that, the minister of Niger Delta, who is also a son, a Niger Delta son, set up an interim management body with the intention of helping to unravel the debt of corruption. So where do we go? Is it the minister's interim body or the one approved? Which one do you think will do this job for us? Thank you very much. The minister, you know, is a politician. He's calculating. They know how they who are the party leaders. They know how they, dis, dis, in fact, rubbish the funds in the NDDC for elections. He knows what he's doing. And he thinks he's smart. He knows what he's doing. Yes. But and thank goodness that the same man blew the whistle. It is not about blue. Every, every, all over the Give years. Give it to him. All over the years. Listen. All over the years, people have been blowing about the problem of NDC. But they never had the Abaddon, votes to set Abaddon, up to, to, no, to listen, instigate this probe. Look, when President Buhari came, is setting up probe in every establishment. Buhari didn't come yesterday. He's been there so, for four years. Yes, for four years. He didn't and, do it. Uh, no. there, were, there were other ministers there that didn't do now, it. Now, listen. We know our politicians. And this country, people like Akwabio did not fall from the sky to become ministers. You don't seem to like Akwabio, do you? No, he's our leader. No, it is not about like matter. And he knows people like us. Those of us who have been involved in this thing, right from military right now, we know these are our cowboy politicians. Let me tell you, before God Godaman, he know what he's doing, but the Senate will stop him. So he's trying to get at some people. Yeah, yeah. He cannot. Which Senate now, will listen, stop him? Listen. Which now, Senate do you say will stop him? This National Assembly. Is it the same National Assembly no, no, that see. has been there all this while and no. all this fraud was going on and no question was and, asked? And, and, and listen, let me give you an idea that he know what he's doing. Now, now quickly, let, Four persons, time, let's quickly go on this break. Okay. And when we come back, we'll still be on this issue of the Niger Delta and some other issues happening in the South South. Please do stay with us. It's not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, that's it. Like, listen to me. We are not like that. So well, maybe, maybe this we don't like act like well. animals. Now you're welcome back. If you're just joining us, I've been speaking with Comrade Joseph Eva. He's a Niger Delta uh, leader and also very passionate about the issues about the, the South, South and how to move that section of the country forward. Now, we left off talking about the, the NDDC and two different bodies. Mm. The, the Senate is saying we're not going to approve the budgets, yeah. except you recognize, you inaugurate the, the board we screened. Mm. The minister is holding on to the gun. And possibly have the support of Mr. President. No. You see? The president will reverse it. He will now know the handwriting on the wall. He will see it very soon. Now, like I told you about Akbabu's decision, mm. the president of the Federal Republic, mm. not even Togo Republic, not even Republic of Benin, mm. sent about 10 persons named to the National Assembly. Mm. The minister picked somebody from the... The minister, the of, minister of the Federal Niger, Republic. Uh, Federal Republic 
the minister, the minister now, speaking for the president. Okay, the minister now picks somebody from the committee, I mean, from the number of people sent to the Senate. Among the, let's say, 10 persons, among the 10 persons, he picked somebody from there. And that person refused to go to the Senate that the president directed. Are we, are we insinuating I'm, I'm, that no, the president I'm, is not aware of what the minister is, is doing? The president is not aware. You are a journalist. You are a journalist. But I'm waiting for the president to say it. I'm yes, waiting for the president to make a statement. And we are waiting for so the president. So why will I insinuate when the president, president spokesman? We are surprised because I believe that they are learned people. No, because, for example, they, they can't no, talk listen, until the president no, says okay, something. Listen. The president needs to be fine. He needs to be advised properly. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria sent 10 persons to the National Assembly to be screened. Somebody among the 10 persons excuse herself because the minister has already appointed her as head of no, no, let, 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 let me ask you this. The minister Where appointed, can that happen? The minister, no, I'm asking you. The minister appointed, I ask you questions here. The minister appointed by the president, are they not speaking? I don't know the eyes of the president at various agencies, in their various ministries. Yes. And when the so, if they are the eye of the president and they make certain policy statements, they make certain statements, we attribute them to the yeah. federal government making those statements. Yes. Yes, all right. Until they reverse so, it. Until it's reversed. Yes. So we should be able to agree that what was done by the minister of Niger Delta was not, was not done just two days ago. It's been there for weeks now. Yes. It has not been reversed. Okay. So you and Have I you will finished? not sit down here yes. and say the president is not aware. There are some officials who will carry out actions and the president will take time to revise that something. But this president Even is too strong. To this, this president no, is too, is too okay, strong for that you. to happen. The president broadcast when he took over from Buari, was uh, from Jonathan. Mm. He said that amnesty will end within one year. The president reversed it. He was advised. The president reversed it. When he was Niger advised. Data, when Niger, that's what I'm telling you, even in this matter. When Niger Delta leaders went to the president and said, the training is like this. The empowerment is like this. So if you say this thing will end for no, one no, year, no, no, no. Let's, no, let's, 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 if it will end one let's year, deal it is with, not possible for this amnesty program to end within one year. Let's, let's and the quickly, president reverse itself. Let's quickly deal with this issue of the Naya letter. Now, don't you suspect that the board that was just screened by the Senate is an extension of certain powerful individuals that probably the minister want to cut them to size? because The minister is a politician who is even still contesting election. His election was an all halfway. So they are all still going to mobilize funds and everything to pursue their. We know them. So, which so means, you cannot, which means, which means, you, can, you, you cannot bring those type of. The, if you are bringing, like now, if the minister come up with any firm to now even say they want to investigate NDDC, we will go to court and stop it. We want the president to bring international firm, recognize oh. global firm, a financial institution. That will be so independent, not Nigeria. So, if the minister does that, you will agree with him. The minister cannot even do that because we are telling the minister he cannot go and oversee NDDC. So, you want the, in you want, you want the, the, Obudu, two, uh, the, the in two, Odubu board? Yes. That, was, that is the board you that want. That is the board. We cannot continue with the acting, interim acting. But which group, are you, speaking that for? Which group are you speaking for? Now, as a Niger Delta activist, I don't even speak for a joy alone. Journalists know me in this country. No, if you say that, and I don't what even we want, speak which group. I, I, and we, what we are saying, as far as Niger Delta people are concerned, mm. we don't want the NDC to be placed under the Ministry of Niger Delta. Oh. Akbabio went to the min, na, a National Assembly to cry that fund for 2019 uh, votes for Minister of Niger Delta is not there. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, go and pursue Niger Delta. You have not worked, you have been given appointment, job as Minister of Niger Delta. Have you done any job there? <laughs> Why are you pursuing money? Because you know that there are billions in NDC. You are only pursuing NDDC matter. The job that they give to you first, you have not done it. You are running away from that job. Now, nobody, that is, smarter that now. Is, that people is the fast car. Smarter people will start calling him. The Nile Delta Commission is the fast car. Yes, yeah, so smarter people will now still be calling him. If they see Akpabio on the road, they will say, Minister of NDDC. <laughs> no, Akpabio now let's, wants let's, to be Minister of NDDC. Is he Minister this, of NDDC or let's, Minister let's of Nigeria? this issue. Sometimes when you sit back and you discuss amongst your comrades, yes. are you not troubled that the South-South is getting itself embedded in, in crisis? I'm just talking about I I election time. You'll see what, what happens in, in Bayelsa, in, in, in River State. The, the extent of killing, the extent of lawlessness. We tend to wonder, is this the characteristic of a Niger Delta and a South-South? No, and that is why we are also talking to even the Edo situation. The idea situation now that we are seeing, because of poverty in the area, politicians easily hijack these boys and use them to cause mayhem. We are now telling even 
Adams or Somalia. Mm. If you invite, if you, if you visit people like uh, Tinibudem, to, and what, to, what is the correlation to, between now uh, he's, a, he's, a leader. he's a leader he's a leader he's a leader i can tell even somebody in bauchi state to go and visit uh president to discuss or somebody from river state we are nigerians what i'm saying is that you as a leader when you see the problem that will create tension and destroy your state look at what happened in lagos state no 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 be, 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 i'm just saying, giving you an example this politician we are talking to them even now we are talking to them. Before we ask pastors and general overseers to cast out these demons that these politicians are manipulated to be destroying our children, we have to talk to them, talk to their senses. Now that Edo State now, killings will soon start because of ego and all this, they are infighting. So I want to look at the way that uh, Lagos State, former Lagos State Governor uh, Tinibu handled the Amode matter. He said, look, elders are the people. I am not the one. Do you see that type of humility? So, Ambody left. Ambody left. So, and there was so no crisis in the state. Is, uh, uh, so, if Oshomole can come out Shumole, and say the elders and uh, Obaseki will if, go? If at all, look, the uh, Oshomole as a leader, he should call the governor. He should call the governor. We should forget about where we are sitting but and the throne we are sitting. Like what he we are, call what the we are seeing from the outside side has gone beyond the face-to-face -face talk we, now. We hope that uh, Archbishop Okoje is still alive. He's from Edo State. Uh, the embassy church. Uh, Pastor Orisa uh, Oyakilome yeah, is from Edo State. They should all go and cast the demons from these two people who want to kill people, children, our children. We should do that. We have great men of God. Uh, may so rest in peace. Uh, the I great uh, Edauza. Edauza. Yeah. When you see Niger Delta people, we are very powerful yeah. in this country. That's why when I see some people let's, bring let's, our boys in this country, let's, let's, and we tell them that look, let's do you know Niger Delta let's people? Let's take a bit with this. Edo we Niger Delta now, people. Do you think it is fair for a governor that was installed to now bite the finger that, that fed him? Do you think Governor Basaki was right to bite the finger that fed him? No. Now, Oshomola himself has not told us that. He bite the fingers that fed him. That fed him. So he has not, Oshomole has not told us that. So what do you think is the problem? Now, if they are not sincere, if they cannot go to the Oba. I was embarrassed the day Oba went to uh, see the president to see that the president should help him to resolve uh, uh, Oshomole and Obaseke matter. So with me, he, he, must, have tried. he must have tried. The, he must have tried. Mm. And these people want to kill our children. Therefore, that's why I'm asking uh, uh, Cardinal Okoji and Ulisse uh, Jaff, uh, Oyakilome, even though the Java from Wadi can also still move into the state. We are all uh, Bendel and uh, former Midwest. They can go there and put, lie them down and uh, pour holy oil on them and let the holy oil touch their brain yeah, and that, uh, remove that them solve, from that. that solve the problem? It can solve the problem. It has solved so many problems. God Almighty is God. It has solved so many problems. Because you don't expect worry. who are so many things in this country to handle, to go and be talking to these people. And I like the president for that. I love him. When some people shy this and ego, no, no, no. they are causing confusion. Let they let will me. carry their problem to Asorok. How many problems will demand solve for your domestic problem? He's the president of Nigeria. President of Nigeria. There are so many things, and you, you can, because of ego and greediness, you cannot solve your problem. Now, no, no. the, with the way things are, people say the president is passive about so many things, he does not take action on, on time until they degenerate. Do, do you think he should act otherwise? No, the president, that alone, we have to also advise the president. Especially like this NDDC matter and all that. The Senate of Nigeria has said that the Minister of Niger Delta is not Minister of NDDC. It can happen. The NDDC should remain in the office of the Secretary to the Government. Let the Minister go and struggle for funds to do Ministry of Niger Delta work. If not, in the next three, four years, Adam uh, uh, Akpabia will be pursuing only you're, you're Niger Delta matters. You're talking about the, then another you're talking one. About the NDDC now, that now, has I'm talking, now, now we are talking about national matter now. Mm. Even the President, my lawyer, Femi Falano, a great Nigerian, the man who saved us from destruction during the Abacha era when the military government decided to dredge River Niger without environmental impact assessment. So I dragged the government to court, the military government. Now, he has continued to raise alarm that the president, the amount of money that are outside there, that are not accounted for, if the president, the institutions that are in place, like Naiti, that are coming up with trillions and trillions, billions and billions of dollars mm. that are hidden in so many places. If these monies are recovered, we don't need to borrow. So why is the president slow in just type of thing and eager to borrow? We cannot accept that for the sake of the future generation. We cannot accept that. The president so, was listening so, to so, Femi Falana. So just finally, 
the, ND, uh, the Naya Delta Development Commission came out out of agitation in the South South. The Southwest is asking for a development commission. The, the Northeast, uh, the, I think they, they also have theirs. Will the South South or the Southeast also have theirs? Because I think they have not even tested the presidency of this country. Are you worried also? Emma? We are worried for the sake of the unity and for us not to go to the area of Congo on Sudan or Somalia. It is the time for the South East to produce the president in 2023. Just like that? It is not like that. And so we are telling them now, the Easterners, don't say it is only money, money, matter. Money, 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 money. There are some certain things that money cannot buy. Integrity for the sake of your children, children in the next 100 years. Now, we Niger Delta people, we are proud. You that Jonathan has the, destroyed the unwritten law that we cannot be president of Nigeria. So the Easterners should also wake up, mobilize themselves, and try to the realign the themselves. Or the leaders. The Is leaders. The, youths or the, the leaders, and they cannot, they cannot work in vacuum. They have to work together. The leaders and the political think tank in the East, they have to put structures on ground. For, because this achievement, if 2023 pass them, their children will not forgive them in now, the now next If you say put structure on ground, are you saying they should, they should converge in one particular political party? They or can, how no, will they achieve that? They are, in, they are in various political parties. They should so, study history. Mm. They should go to the archives. Mm. They should go to the archives. Mm. Like the way I'm appealing to Buari. Go to the archives of the development, yeah, development plans of Go, uh, uh, mm. uh, Gowan. Mm. Gowan is still alive. Call Gowan. After the war, how do you manage this economy to this situation? Your development plan, uh, and some other great guys, who are still alive, even if they are 100 years, they have their brain, everything is still sharp. Why can't they and consult these people and go to the archives? Countries like Britain and US that we are so, talking about, they always go to the archives. So our people have problems with themselves. And people have problems with themselves unless they go to the archives. Thank and again, so I want to thank uh, the president for introducing, reintroducing the study of history. Mm. A thank nation so without much, history is dead. Joseph Ever for coming on my show today. Thank you I do for appreciate the it. Now, that is all we can take on this particular edition of Head to Head. And let's make it another opportunity next week, same time. I remain yours sincerely. Shomomo Emodu. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.